Hey guys, Chad and Jacqueline here, and as you know, we are gearing up for the first ever Cruise with the DJ, October 12th. Cannot wait. We have partnered up with Ambassador Travel. Henderson Chevrolet Buick GMC is so kindly sponsoring this event for us, and I say that because they're going. Um, <laughs> yeah, so. it's going to be so much fun. Now, here's the deal. Um, Jacqueline is a longtime listener but first time cruiser. I'm pumped. We're going to Mexico, y'all. Progreso, Cozumel. I'm on a boat. I'm pumped, but I do have some questions. Okay, so um, I cruise a lot, luckily for her, because I'm going to try to answer some of these. So she feels a little more comfortable about zipping down to New Orleans and getting on the Carnival Elation. Okay, so how does it work when we get there? I mean, I kind of have in my head, like, picture what it's going to look like when people are, like, trying to get on the boat into the room. So how does that process work? Okay, you have to check in at the terminal. Okay. And you have to show documentation, passports, birth certificates, and that kind of thing, because we are leaving the country. Uh, but when you get to the terminal, a porter is going to take your luggage and they'll ensure that your luggage gets on the boat so you don't have to carry it on. Uh, but throughout the course of the first afternoon, your luggage will be delivered conveniently to your stateroom. Well, that's great. That's so nice. And you can't carry a purse. Okay. Uh, or a I'll purse. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I carry a purse, and I don't want to hear any lip about it, okay? My whole life's in that purse. It's bigger than my real purse. Call it a man bag. <laughs> it's a purse. Um, so I can put like, my bathing suit in there, like some flippy floppies and some okay. cash. Yes, yes, and yes. <laughs> this one, no matter where we go, no matter what time of the year it is, always packs bathing suits. It's ridiculous. We've been in Memphis in January, and this one packs two bathing suits as if she's going to go swimming somewhere in January. <laughs> what if I have a hot tub party invitation and I need an outfit? Or you go down to the fountain at the Peabody and swim with the ducks. I wouldn't count it out. Okay, so that's that's taken care of. Okay, let's talk about how big the boat is. Huge. Like massively huge? Massive. Okay, so the Carnival Elation can carry, I think it's just under 2,100 passengers, and there'll be another 1,000 crew members. So like Carson asked, like, Mommy, is the boat bigger than my school? Uh, it's huge. Yes, and yes, it is. Um, I think the Carnival Elation, and I could be wrong, but I think it's 12 decks high. Um, it's huge. It's enormous. I cannot wait. Okay, well, that's good, so I can tell her that. And don't worry, because if you're a first-time cruiser on day one of the cruise, for our group, I will be giving a tour of the ship. <laughs> and we're supposed to be, we're supposed to feel comfortable about that, y'all. I'll do some research before we get there, and I'll try to have some maps or something. Don't even. Okay, so, let's move on. You know I get car sick. You know I get car sick. Yes. Am I going to get sick on this boat? Do you like how I soccer bomb arm Yeah, Brett, Brett was just going to bust up in here. Like we hadn't had four takes already. Soccer bomb arm. Yeah. Hello. Stop in the name of love. Stay what? right there, though, in case the phone rings. Yeah. Um. Okay. What were we talking about? I don't know. Brett, I swanee to goodness. Um, let's Tours talk about, and maps. Huh? Tours and maps. The map. That's right. So let's talk about continuing in the boat. How big is this room? Like... I'm picturing the, your, like a your cabin. Box. Yes. Okay, so it's about 180 to 185 square feet. Oh, okay. What is this, HDTV? Jacqueline, it's 180 square feet. Picture it. I don't apartment. know what that means. my apartment. Nobody <laughs> asked! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to soccer bomb arm duct tape his mouth. Okay, so anyway. Okay, picture this room. Show them this room. Um, a, is it, is this, is this shameless this Harvick plug. Okay, a, <laughs> about the okay. width of this yeah. room. Uh -huh. But uh, maybe not oh. exactly the width of the room, but deeper. For sure. I can handle that. I mean, yeah, I was I'm thinking like uh, like yeah. tiny is what well, I was thinking. And if you think about it this way too, I mean, there are typically um, two twin beds uh -huh. in, a, in a normal stateroom, and those will push together to make a king size bed. So the room is wide enough to house a king size bed. Uh -huh. Okay. So pretty so, big. So and, plenty room for my shoes. And I always have a couch in my room. There's always like a huge vanity uh, along one one wall. Uh, there's usually like a sitting area. Um, and then there's a bathroom, which, by the way, does not have a tub. It does have a shower, and you don't have to worry about taking shampoo and conditioner because they have it built into the wall every shower. Really? Yes, ma'am. What kind? Biolage, Jacqueline. <laughs> what kind? Trey Samay. I don't. Paul Mitchell, Awapuhi. Oh, that'd be great. <laughs> I mean, seriously. It's just a question, jeez. Okay, so oh, this is what we were talking about. You know, I get car sick. How bad is this going to be on the boat? Am I going to get sick? Am I going to take some precautions? Okay, so good news for you. I think it was in 2009, uh, the Elation was actually refurbished, and uh -huh. it, um, they have stabilizers in the boat. So you will feel some motion. I mean, if there's a storm, we're up a creek. 
Um, but if there's not a storm, it's so pretty smooth sailing. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty smooth sailing. And um, a lot of folks who are prone to motion sickness mm -hmm. will kind of take precautions and they'll get a little patch they can wear right behind their ear. You'll see lots of people on the boat with those. I will say this though, my mother is really prone to motion sickness. Uh, and a couple years back, we took her on a cruise down to Aruba uh, in Curacao, which is in like the real South Caribbean. It's just above, above Venezuela. And that can be really windy uh, in December, and it was. And for two days, that boat rocked and rocked and rocked. And even my mom didn't get sick, which is, that's a miracle. Oh, okay. So that, that's comforting. Um, let's talk about something really important here. What do I need to take to wear? Okay. Because I've already been thinking, and I know that there are some dress-up nights, but are there there's a lot? One. Just one. Yeah, so on a five-night five or five-day cruise, there's one uh, dress-up night. And you, typically, it's the second day of the cruise, like the first full sea day night. Uh, and it's called Captain's Dinner, and you're encouraged to dress up. Some people will wear tuxedos. Ooh. Some women will wear evening gowns. Mm -hmm. I never do that. I'll usually throw on a tie, maybe like an Oxford, some pants. No offense, but you're out of my picture that night. Yeah, so you can dress up on one night, but the rest of the time, like dining is casual. I mean, you can wear shorts and a nice shirt and call it a day. Flip flops, yeah. Okay, so speaking of food, how readily available is the food? Twenty four hours a day. <gasps> <laughs> like like snacks and everything. Twenty four hours a day. Okay, so here's the deal. Ah. Um, so we have formal dining every okay. night. Okay, so That's we will great. be in a dining room eating together. That's going to be fun. Um, <laughs> I'll put Carson by you, Uncle Pat. On the Lido deck, like the day we get on the boat, there will be food ready immediately. Really? And there will be buffets on the Lido deck. You'll be able to get uh, that. Uh, and the Lido deck, there's always food there in some way, shape, or form. Pizza's available 24 hours a day. Room service is available 24 hours a day. Really? Yes, ma'am. Waffles? Uh, you can probably get waffles. Like at like 1.30 a.m.? 24 hours a day. What part of this do you understand? I I am so excited. Yeah, there's food everywhere. I mean, literally, food is worth the price of admission, truly. So because basically, I need to take a one piece for the last couple of days. And here's the cool thing, too. Like, at dinner, uh, you get a new menu every night. Mm -hmm. Like, the menu changes every night. So you'll have your choice of starters. You'll have your choice of entrees and desserts. And if you are feeling frisky and you want to try more than one, you can. No questions asked. Really? Okay, so which leads me to my next question. Is there a gym on site? There is a gym on site. Uh, there's Spa Carnival, and there's always a gym inside. I work out all the time on cruise ships. Of course you do. Um, there, are, there are treadmills. There are ellipticals. There are classes you can take for, like, an additional charge. where They do Pilates and yoga and stuff like that. Okay. Uh, there is a full-service spa. You can get massages if you want to, oh. facials, and, uh, yeah, so men's locker room, women's locker room, big showers. It's good times. Steam rooms, saunas. That's awesome. That overlook the gulf. Okay, last question. So, I, I zoned out. Um, whenever we get to like our, uh, like to, posit, to Cozumel or to Progresso, yes. how does that work? If you want to stay on the boat, you can. You can. But if you want to leave, do you have to like get off the boat? Like everybody has to leave right now. Or no, you can, kind you can of get off whenever, at, at your you leisure. Have to be back on it. And time. when you sign on, when you get to the terminal in New Orleans and you get checked into the boat, uh, when you get before you get on the boat, you will have a carnival sell and sign card, and they'll take your picture to go along with that. Oh, okay. So when you get off the boat, they will swipe your card, and they'll know that Jacqueline Graves has left the boat. So your picture will pop up on oh. the screen. So that's kind of like crowd control, and so they know who's on the boat, who's supposed to be, and who's not. So when you come back. I do take a photo ID. Do take a photo ID with you when you leave the cruise ship, though. Uh, even though it's on your card, mm -hmm. make sure you have like a passport uh, or some kind of driver's license. You have to have a photo ID to get back through customs to get back on the boat. So when you get back to the boat, they'll swipe your card. Your face will pop up. They'll know you're accounted for, and off you go. Back onto the boat. That is so cool. Yes, ma'am. It's going to be fun. All right, I'm ready. I can't think of any more questions. Do you have any other questions, long-time listener, first-time cruiser? <laughs> So I'm just so dang excited. And y'all, we still want y'all to go with us. So if you're like me and you're a little apprehensive, it's going to be so much fun. And we want y'all to join us October 12th through the 17th. Cruise with a DJ to Mexico. Can we leave now? I wish. Go to WBKR.com because our first allotment of cabins is just about gone. So if you guys want to go, get on it quickly uh, because we're selling out fast. See y'all in Mexico. Ah!